Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we tried out spearfishing for the very first time with our new friends, Billy and Sierra from Tula's Endless Summer. Nick and I didn't have any luck, but thankfully Billy and Sierra were more successful and they treated us to an amazing fish supper. Nick and I then explored Hope Town, which is a beautiful town in the Abacos, and then finished off the day with a well-deserved beer in Firefly. Good morning from Hope Town, the Abacos. So today we are going to uh, head back to Marsh Harbour. So it's only about five miles away, I think. Um, short little sail. Um, it's going to be really nice. The beautiful weather today. Uh, absolutely perfect sailing conditions. So yeah, um, I'm not quite sure what the wind's doing. We'll find out in a second once we turn the instruments on. But I can see lots of white sails out there. So yeah, I reckon we'll put the sails up and have ourselves a nice little trip over to Marsh Harbour. Ready? Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Do you want to say yes one more time? No. <laughs> That's what I did. I need to unlock the dinghy. Yes. The water's just beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice day today. Mm So we made it to Marsh Harbour, which is uh, exciting. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much else to say. Uh, so we are going to uh, head to the supermarket and do some provisioning now. I'm not sure what we need. We've run out of fresh fruit and vegetables, so that will be top of the list. Maybe something yummy for snacks. And do we have enough beer? We're good for beer, so that's another thing ticked off the list.
of the Marsh Harbour Dinky Dock. Alright, bye bye, Nossi. Oh, it's very promising. Yeah, it does look promising, doesn't it? What can we buy? Everything. Sweet. Okay. You never had that? Mm-hmm. The sun being ginger. Yesterday was plain. It wasn't no pepper. The sun is The sun is flavored sesame seeds. Huh? The sun is flavored sesame seeds. All right, we've discovered a gem, I think. Everyone go to this like, little Asian supermarket in Marsh Harbour. It's just uh, around the corner from the marinas. And um, yeah, they've got some really nice Thai sauces and rices and I don't even know, like curry pastes and God knows what. And they also have um, like pre-cooked Thai meals, frozen meals, which is uh, suits us down to the ground because we don't actually need to cook anything. Oh, right, yeah. take my hand. No, take my hand. Put the camera in that hand. That's it. I'm going to get you back to back to regular speed. <laughs> Am I sucking off? <laughs> You have a different length gait. I do, that's because my legs are short, so short. Mm. I can't help it. Hello. Made it. Yes. Made it to the supermarket. Boiling. It's humid, there's no wind, and there's no cloud cover today. No. This, this makes me truly, 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 truly happy. What are these? Stop going towards me. I can't help it, I'm excited. My legs are twitching. <laughs> gnocchi. I love gnocchi. That's not too bad, $2.40. No, it's not too bad. I saw that. Provisioning is done. We have to walk back with our bags full of food. And uh, yeah, we get to come back in do it all over again tomorrow because we've got a friend coming to stay. So um, we'll be back. Maybe we should ride our bikes tomorrow, babe, instead of walking. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me over the like crazy rain right now but there's a school that just, that's just come past us and um, we were only lamenting earlier that our water tanks are almost empty and we didn't know what to do about it and now they're like I don't know three quarters full it's only been going for 10 minutes maybe so at least we've solved one problem of our empty water tanks yeah, I love storms like this. I just think that they're awesome. It's only nine o'clock in the evening, so it's, it's not actually keeping me awake right now. So that's the only reason I'm so chipper. If it was like three o'clock in the morning, I'd be less cheery. But yeah, they're cool. What, what was the highest wind you saw? Uh, 33, 34. I had 42 when I came into West End, which was fine because there was no one in the anchorage. This is a busy anchorage. And while I have utmost faith in our ground tackle, I don't have faith in everyone's ground tackles. You know, the one of my worst, probably unrealistic fear for things like this is where you get like a domino effect, where someone at one part drags another one and then they both come careening. You would hope that people, well, that are on board will be doing some sort of anchor watch, which essentially is just, you know, making sure your anchor's not dragging and have something in place if it does, like we've got that Mantis anchor. It's good actually. It is really good. Does it, it doesn't, no, not wood, doesn't seem to move.
thank you so much for watching this week's episode i hope that you enjoyed it if you did then please give us a thumbs up leave a comment down below we love the comments and we always try and respond and also just hit that subscribe button in the corner we're also on social media so give us a follow on facebook twitter instagram and we're also now on snapchat all the links for those are down below as well uh, there's also a link to our website so check it out for more information about us about our boat and about our travels and we hope to see you next week for another episode see you later